hello YouTube, I'll play back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. And today we've got an extra long special episode because it's a special occasion, guys. We've done it. We've finally hit 100 episodes of No Man's Sky. <laughs> so today I figured we'll do a little bit of a longer episode than normal. I'm going to try and keep it to around about one hour. So that's much longer than my normal videos. Three times the goodness for you guys. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Uh, and we're starting off the episode on this wonderful uh, oceany, oceany, mountainy, paradisey type planet. If I show you what it looks like in the day, uh, it's actually a really, really nice one. I figured this would be a perfect place to start our special little episode. We got beautiful pools, we got lovely rocky structures, we got some trees and grass, but not too much. Uh, but we're gonna try and explore loads of different planets today. I'm gonna try and cram as much No Man's Sky goodness into one episode as I possibly can uh, for you guys, and hopefully you'll enjoy that. Uh, but before we do any of that, if I can find these little jipper snappers, there's a bit of a freakazoid living around here somewhere. Where are they? Come here. Don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I purposely came here so that I could quickly show you guys what I'm talking about at the start of the episode. And I bet now that I've done that, I won't be able to find it. We've got a really weird type of fish that lives around here. Uh, ooh, is this it? Is this it around here? Come here, buddy boy. I've been gypped. I've been gypped on my special episode. This is an, <gasps> this is an outrage. They've got to be around here somewhere. We'll find them, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like old times. We're on the hunt for ocean creatures once again. Uh, but this time I know for sure that they're in here. Uh, they're not huge or anything, but they're just some pretty bizarre, bizarro looking things. Hello? Where are these little chips? <gasps> oh. I'm actually, uh, so actually in this episode as well, I'm going to try and explore loads of planets, which you guys love. <gasps> Here they are. Here's the little jippers. <laughs> look at these freakazoids. They're like the weirdest long snake. They basically look like snakes' bodies or eels. And then with like fish stuck on the top of them. <laughs> look at them. What the heck? They kind of look like really stretched out koi carps or something like that. How's it going there, buddy? Oh, they've got really cool colors. They look like little rattlesnakes. Oh, they've got the whiskers like little catfish too. Oh, these are, I, I don't know how I feel about the way they move. <laughs> move from side to side. Now you're dead, little fishes. Now you're dead. Yeah. Oh, 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 I've never tried to shoot a fish before, have I? <laughs> I love the way they all just leg it together in their little school. <laughs> all right, anyway, as I was saying, uh, I'm going to try and tick off a couple of things on my No Man's Sky bucket list today. I'm hoping... I'm hoping we can get ourselves a brand new ship. And I've got a very good way of doing that, thanks to you guys in the comments. So I figured one of the things that would be a good idea for this 100 episode special uh, is to basically go through all of the comments that I've been getting recently and try and find a couple of things that uh, more than one people have been like suggesting to me to say, come on, please do this. One of them was, of course, can you please try and do a longer episode every now and again? Uh, so I can't obviously do that all the time because I only get to record at the weekends uh, and I have to <laughs> I have to hit it hard guys I'm recording like non-stop all weekend to get my episodes done for the week uh, which is fine because there's no better way to spend your weekend than playing this beautiful game um, but obviously I don't have enough time to make like hour-long videos or anything like that all the time and I don't think everyone would like that but I figured for this special occasion it would be nice to nice to do something like that um, so yeah one of the things that was in the comments that you guys want me to do um, as well as like space combat in general which we're gonna try and get into plenty of this episode uh, was that I can actually hunt down ships that I see so I want to try and find a nice ship on a planet that I like the look of. And then I'm just going to try and kill it. I'm going to start attacking it. I'm going to try and make it crash on the surface of the planet. And then we're going to go and steal the crashed ship, buddy boy. That's right. L plays has taken up the pirate mantle. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> Plutonium, thank you very much. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to I'm gonna summon my ship right now. I was waiting for it to be daytime because obviously, I mean... I'm definitely getting braver in the game, as you guys have probably noticed with my space comp. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at this. What a beautiful place. Uh, yeah, <laughs> anyway, I get distracted already. Jeez Louise, I'm trying to, I've got so much to do. We can't get distracted today. Uh, yeah, so basically. <gasps> oh! Hello? Look at his little horns. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, what a backdrop as well. Oh, thank you for showing up for this episode, buddy. It's a very... Go, stay still. Wait, honestly, you're in a very special episode. You should be happy. You want, oh, come on, don't be shy. Stage fright. We, we've all been there. We all get nervous sometimes. 
so yeah, I'm gonna take down a ship. I was waiting for it to be daytime. Why? Oh, jipper snapper! I don't have enough fuel in mine, but this is this is terrible, guys. This is forgive me. How can I not have enough fuel? I mean, this is just outrageous. We got all this plutonium, huh? Um, yeah, so I'm getting braver as in the space combat, as you guys have probably noticed. I'll be actually, I'm being too humble. I have been wrecking fools left, right, and center. I've been jipping them and nipping them and stealing all their supplies up in space. Uh, but I didn't want to do that at night time. It's still a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to hunt someone down, and supposedly if you kill someone on the planetary surface, they actually crash. As in they genuinely, the ship will crash land, and will be a crash ship for me to loot and find and potentially upgrade to a new ship. So that's our quest. We're going to try and have a little look around, find a new ship, and then take it down. But before, so I'm going to look for that, but before we come back and you see me fight one, uh, I figured we'd take a little trip down memory lane. So I'm going to show a nice little reel of some of the beautiful scenes that we've seen in the game so far, so roll that now. I'm sure there was something I was supposed to be doing, but this is fun. <laughs> uh, oh wait, that was it, I'm supposed to be looking for a ship! Jippers! Okay, so we haven't managed to find a ship on a planet's surface to attack just yet, but I have just stumbled across this freighter, and that's reminded me of another item that was on the No Man's Sky YouTube comment section bucket list. And that was for me to take on a freighter. I'll be honest, I am 100% certain that this is a pure suicide mission and I've got no chance. But, I'm doing it for you guys. So we're going to storm in. I don't even know how you attack the freighter. I don't know what you're supposed to target. But we're going to go ahead and just try and fight a freighter. That's it. I'm going to fire at it. I'm firing at the freighter. I'm attacking it. That's it. It's on. We're fighting him. Game on. Can I attack it this way? Does it do anything? Is there a certain point that I'm supposed to target? Guys, look what you're doing to me. I am in a world of trouble right now. Oh, there was a bit then that said Thamium. And I said Thamium correctly just for you guys on the special episode. Don't get used to it. I'm sure I'll remember. Uh, I'm sure I'll forget again soon. Ah, there. That's what we meant to attack, huh? Oh, I got you now, buddy boy. So we hit one. We hit one. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. There are hostile enemies coming. The Sentinels are coming to wreck me. Uh, I need to find the other bits that I can attack. Where are they? Not there. Not there. Not here. Oh gosh. Is there a way to take this beast down? Oh, we are in big trouble. I'm so scared. Like, I can tell that I know that they're coming and it's terrifying. It's only a matter of time, guys, before it's game over. The Sentinel ships are going to descend upon me and rain fury upon me. Righteous fury because I'm the bad guy in this situation. How do I, how do I hurt this thing? Alright, let's just, let's switch our tactics and go straight after the Sentinels. We can take them down. I ain't scared. Sentinel Schmentinel. Bring it, fool! Oh, you stay. You are fast, buddy boy. Where is he going? Oh, that's right. He's heard about El Pais, the new pirate king. Uh, oh, I can attack this, so I'm gonna do that. Where was the bit that I can attack? Where did it go? Oh, oh, oh! My shield is gonna be down already. Jeez, Louise! Well, I've got quite a bit of iron though, so we might be okay. Oh, that was cargo there, right? Aha, okay, I think I might have this figured out. I think I might have this figured out, right? So this said cargo. Let's attack this. It's not It's not being taken down. What, which bit am I meant to shoot to get my cargo? How the heck? How the heck are you jipper are you supposed to take on a freighter, guys? You guys keep telling Have I been jipped? Are you guys in the comments just trying to fool me? Oh, yeah. Eat it! Eat it, fool! 
<laughs> oh, he's running. He's running. How is my shield not down? You're lying to me. I can clearly see that it's not down. Oh, they are strong. They are strong like Donkey Kong. Come on, fool. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay, okay. We still got some shield. We still got some shield. It's okay. Oh, ah, I don't know how to take down the freighter, guys. I'm very scared right now. I feel like it's only a matter of time before we dead. Before we dead. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. The, break, the greatest space pirate that ever lived. <laughs> Come on. We're holding our own, though, guys. I mean, I've only had to re, re, uh, reload my shield like 15 times already. Apart from that, it's going completely fine. We're fine. This is fine. Don't worry about it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry. There we go. Full shield again. Uh, if I take out these Sentinel ships, does that end it? Or do, or do more come? Because if more come, we're legging it, guys. Where is he? Why is he so? Why do they have to be so fast? <gasps> Rip! We're dead. Okay, I gave it a valiant attempt, guys. Hopefully that was fun to watch. <laughs> Death by laser, chipped again. Oh yeah, buddy boy, we got the terrain manipulator. So I came, my mission was to come to this blueprint trader, and it just so happens he gave me the terrain manipulator. What a great guy. Uh, let's see what other blueprints we got while we're here as well. We could do a bit of shopping. That's got to be on the bucket list, right? <laughs> Uh, what do we need? I want the scanners. Have I got any scanner? Ooh, there's a range boost, but I can't buy it. Oh, these are all combat ones, which are pretty nice. Uh, that would have been really helpful against my fight with a freighter. God damn it. Thanks for nothing, you bozo. Well, I don't think I want to buy any of those yet, because I'm saving up for the scanner ones, and as soon as I see them, I'm going to need buckaroos. Uh, oh, I don't sales gig. Let's talk to these guys, see if anybody's going to give us some, uh, some treasure. I want to do the barter thing. Whoa, perhaps I should give the Gek some privacy. Alright. I should have stared at him. I shouldn't have backed away. I ain't scared of no Gek. He's tiny. Yeah, let's stare at him. <laughs> he wow. I just got the cold shoulder by a little tiny Gekka. What a jip. Come on, Captain. What have you got for me? Yes, yes, yes. The downbeat life form is studying the image of another young warrior on their pad. It's me. It's me. I'm a warrior and I'm young. Uh, the picture... Oh, it didn't say handsome. Can't be me. <laughs> the pictured warrior looks vir virile. Oh, what a word. And impressive. Oh, maybe it is me. They have facial tend <laughs> tendrils. Yeah, that's definitely me. Uh, they're outstretched. They appear rich and of good breeding stock. The look in its eye is sultry. Ooh. The life form looks to me with questioning eyes. They clearly need someone to talk this through with. I advise accept Yes! Sultry, absolutely. Go for it, buddy boy. Speakers throughout the facility play orchestral music. The life form shares some of the dowry they receive. <laughs> he just got married! We just helped a Viking warrior choose a bride. What a beautiful romantic moment. And that happened that like that's good. We need special moments like this on our 100 episode special. Thank you very much, Mr. Viking. I wish you a long and prosperous marriage. If that's how it works. I don't know. They're Viking. Maybe they kill each other on the honeymoon. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back once we're about to hit another planet. And we'll explore some more. But I definitely want to find a ship that I can attack and steal too. So we'll be on the lookout. Okay, we're back because we have a message. Which I'm hoping is going to be part of the main story. So let's find out what we got. You are not alone. I know you, traveller. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. There is no need to hurry. Ask who they are or remain silent. Let's find out who they are. I'm not shy. You will find us when the time is right. Bum bum bum! Well, here we go guys. We have another part of the main story, which coincidentally is another item on the YouTube comment bucket list. You guys are telling me to hurry up and do the story. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the story. So where do we need to go next? Answer the again. We've got we're a popular person today Are you ready? Make sure you are this job isn't going to be a small one You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while Okay, let's do this Good let the hunt begin Oh dear. I've detected a Corvax installation on the world of yours. The interference in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but do not be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. <gasps> Point out Apollo is robotic or cough. Um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be like <coughs> 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 
I am not robotic. I was born just like you were, but this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to this shell. This is who I am. Say you feel sorry for them. No, not, not the sentimental type today. Let's find out what actually happened. Let's be inquisitive. I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. Well, thank you very much, Apollo. Uh, so start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. Ooh, if we find a portal in this episode, that will be fantastic. Uh, and what better way to uh, what what better way than to attack a Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. <laughs> it needed a man maniacal laugh. <laughs> right, okay, so we're on the quest to find a portal by the sounds of it, which is fantastic, because if we find our first portal in our 100 episode special, I will be super, super duper happy. Um, where's it telling me to go? Infiltrate the Corvax facility. Here we go, here we go, where is it, where is it? Huh. Okay, we'll be back in a second. Okay, here we go, we're about to touch down on this new moon that we've not discovered, and this is where the Corvax facility is that we're gonna storm. <laughs> Oh, it's a beautiful frost planet as well. This is fantastic. Oh, wow. Look at this place. Oh, what a sight to die. Dun, dun, dun. We're totally going to get wrecked here, aren't we, if we attack anybody. Uh, but I'm, really, I'm feeling ready. Before we die, uh, I mean, I mean, before I obviously triumph, <laughs> let's get a little picture of this beautiful place. Look at it. It's fantastic. Oh, giant tree! I've not seen a giant tree. Have I seen a giant tree since 1.3? Haha, that rhymed. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. This thing's huge. I've got to get a picture. I know, I know, guys, I know. Some people just don't get me. It's just a tree, the comments say. But it's my tree. <laughs> uh, let's scan everything and get some money before we do this. Oh, if I can actually stay scanning for two seconds. I, th I think that was actually another thing that I keep getting told in the comments is make sure I scan stuff. So we are we are really trying hard to tick off all the things in the comments for you guys today. Uh, don't get too used to it though. You know, I'll be back to my normal uh, tiny attention span self <laughs> in the next one. Treasure please, what have we got? Ah, gra, gra, gra. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, I've hired an armor as well for a base. <gasps> oh, these pesky little jippers. I'm going to attack a ship here as well. I think. <gasps> what? Hello? Oh, I thought that was one of those portal didgeridoo things then. Jippers. Oh, this is... Look at this view. Okay, right, we're going in. Switch to the gun. Pop, pop. No, that's not the gun. Is this the pop, popper? That's the terrain tool. Here we go. Pop, pop, pop. We've got to take this fool down. We can do this. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, no. Reload, reload. Quick, hurry before they get here and kill me. Come on. Oh, this is a really reinforced door. Give me a break. There's reinforced doors, and then there's this door, which is like super double reinforced. Come on, what a jib. Come on, come on, come on. Move to the left. Float like a butterfly, sting like a, a bee. Come on, move, move. Come on, stay frosty. Haha, <laughs> yes, we're in. They can't get me. <laughs> oh, I thought there was someone in here. We're safe, we're safe. Are they coming in after me? Nope, nope. <laughs> Suckers. All right, let's loot all the stuff, and then we'll then we'll actually do the thing. Hey. Yes, thank you very much. Cut up on. And this one. I feel like I feel like we're achieving so much today, guys. I mean, we did also die, but we can just pretend that didn't happen, right? We're all friends here. Perform critical maintenance. I thought I'm trying to attack this place. Oh, give me a break! I need heredium. No, I need heredium. You, I have been royally gypped, guys. Okay, okay, we need to get heredium. Is there any heredium in here by any chance? I mean, I don't know how that could even be possible, but you have to ask the question, right? Are they still after me if I go outside, or are we safe now? I think we're safe, right? Okay, that's fine, because this looks like a beautiful planet to explore anyway, so we can have a look around for some radium. Uh, what does it say about this place? Have we got animals? Please say we've got some animals. <gasps> Occasional. Oh, an abundant flora. Okay, that's good. That's good for making buckaroonies. Look at these valleys. Oh, we have got it. We've got to do it. That's another one in the comments on the bucket list. We've got to do some low flying through the valleys. Pod racing style, boy. Honestly, guys, I know I know I do joke about it a lot, but these tall trees are super impressive. If you don't find this impressive, then, I mean, 
You're gonna have a sad life, man. <gasps> Hello there, little buddy boy. <gasps> 39,000 buckaroos! Jeez Louise, I'm gonna stuff you and mount you on my mantelpiece. You're worth a fortune. Yes, have this iron. Now come with me. Just come into the trunk of my uh, little ship here. Oh, come on. You're going to attack me for that, you little phony. He's staring at me. Oh, oh you want to go? You want to go? You want to go, buddy boy? Didn't anyone tell you I'm the most fearsome pirate hunter in the world? Oh, no. Why am I? Oh, my weapon charge depleted, huh? Well, that's fine. I'll mine him. That's what you get, fool. <laughs> ah, he thought his pistol was powerful, but mine, wink wink, get it, mine was better. <laughs> this guy's awesome, look at him go, he's so happy. Oh, I fed it, I was like, why is he attacking me? But that's because I fed him. Oh no, they've got reinforcements, sorry buddy. I never loved you anyway, I have to leave. Huh. Let's go. They do say under dangerous circumstances, your true character comes out, and I've just abandoned my new friend. Oh, I thought this was a valley, I can't low fly into there, it's a dead end. Aha, yeah, let's do a bit of low flying anyway. What is... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Help me. Okay, this is not an... Oh, what a beautiful planet this is! Guys, look at this! Oh, this is spectacular! <laughs> wow! Look at the ripples on that planet. That's awesome. Oh, this is... Man, the snow planets are so good right now. Oh. Right, let's go fly. Is there a valley we can fly in? I would like to find a valley. Oh, I'm going to scan for ships as well. I want to attack some fools. Oh, look at the terrain here. This is fantastic. I bet there's no heredium on this damn planet, is there? Wait, is there heredium on every planet? I feel like there is. Heredium, heredium. Any heredium? Whoa. The terrain here is insane. Look at this place. I'm so caught up in the excitement of all the stuff that we're doing right now, but I'm just like, we have to take a minute to appreciate the beauty here. This is absolutely magical. Look at that. What the heck? It's so mount like they're so perfect. They're so mountainy and frosty. Oh, I've got to land here. Look at this view. Oh, we found little tiny chippers. I love it. I love it when there's a tree like on top of the mountain like that. It looks so cool. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. Let's get out and see these little fleens. Fleens? Flippers? I was about to say floppers. Hello? Whoa! Hey, come on. Why is everybody out to get me today? Excuse me? Are we? Can we not just be friends? You're going to die now and it's all your fault. I didn't want to do this. I know I said I was going to become the notorious leader of the pirates in the galaxy, but I, I didn't mean I was going to... <gasps> what is this? What is this little spinderoo? Look at him. He's got little spikes on him. Oh, what? I've never seen this kind of creature before. This is awesome. Oh, he's so fast. He's like a little beaver. Okay, we got to get on top of the ship before he kills me, because that would be an embarrassing way to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't get me, fool. Jipped again. I've got to take a better look at him. He looked absolutely awesome. Look at him. He's like a little sloth. <laughs> that is a cool creature. Oh, what else have we got over here? You look kind of weird, my friend. Whoa. He's got a very regal head. Who else have we got? You. I like you. He's like Gex Gecko. I like him. He's very cool. <gasps> oh, I like this. I like the antlers, buddy. <laughs> Look at that pose. He's so fierce. <laughs> right, we need to. I need to reload my molecule so I can actually kill these fools. Bolt cast. There we go. Let's charge it with uh, carbon. Yes, please. Pop him. Pop him. Pop him. Boom! He can't. He can't even get me. Is he dead? Oh, I, I feel sad because he was such a cool-looking little dude. Return to the mission. Oh, sixty-two thousand buckaroonies! Guys, this is the way to go. Just scan the animals, get the scanners, and you will be forever rich. I've got over 6 million units right now, which I think may may even be the most I've ever had in No Man's in like my entire No Man's Sky experience, history, legacy, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh man, this is such a cool planet. Who are you? 
The creature. Oh, there's so many of them. I want to live here. This is so beautiful. Look at all these little buddies. <laughs> oh, the only thing with a snow planet. Oh, the views. This is my new home away from home, guys. They need to let us be able to make more than one base. <laughs> I love this guy just like plodding along, minding his own business. All these guys over here are like frolicking around playing together, and this this little loner's like, eh, I'm too cool for those guys. <gasps> Ships! Oh, I could have attacked them, but I'm not gonna be able to catch them. We need to get back in the ship anyway, because I need to try and find some heredium. Oh, you little jipper snapper. Oh, are you kidding? I don't have any fuel in my inventory. What? Wow. Okay, well, I guess we're going on foot for a little while then. Uh, while we get some plutonium. But that's fine. We want to explore, right? That's, that's like, always the goal. Always the goal. Explore beautiful planets. And this is one heck of a beautiful planet. Thank you. Thank you. Look at him. Oh, the... I don't know what it is with these snow planets, but they're just incredible right now. Like, the snow planets, I, I think I like this as much as I like the beautiful paradise planets right now. Oh, I should scan that iron too, right? How many buckaroos do I get? 200. Well, not even worth it. I think Jim. <gasps> Hello! Oh, I'm glad we decided to stay on foot for a little bit longer. Look at the size of him! Any other red dots? Oh, yeah, there's another one! 62,000! We are rich! We are filthy rich! Uh, but we're getting it. Look at him! Oh, he looks like the last guardian creature. Oh, what's his name? I don't know the thing's name. I haven't played the game, but I've seen it, and it looks just like this guy. Oh, that is awesome! Ha! <laughs> what a guy! I like... I'm a huge fan of that. That is one cool creature design. Platinum, we will take. I'm just going to try and like run away from these Sentinels. I don't really want to fight them, I'll be honest. Because I know if I try and fight them, more are going to come after me. And without the safety of my ship to run away and be a coward to, uh, I'm not feeling ever so confident right now. Ooh, this is all red at night time. This is very cool. Yes, don't mind me. Just gathering up some plutonium. And then we'll go for the old... Oh, there's a question mark. How close is that? Excuse me. Oh. We have found some awesome planets lately, guys. The terrain here is just like so crazy. Their mountains are awesome. They're like it's like Skelliger from The Witcher. How far away is that? Oh, one minute fifty. We could make it. We could. Oh, they're deactivated. That's fine. We're safe. Okay, I'm gonna summon the ship again, and we're gonna fly around and look for either a ship to attack or some heret. Oh, you jipper. Okay, we're back. We've just gone and collected some heridium, so we're going to go back and do that quest and hopefully find a portal in this episode. That would be the best day ever if we can do that. But I just wanted to show you one other thing that I have done that you guys always tell me to do in the comments. And I always do do, but I just never do it off camera. You see? You see here, you little jippers? See these little yellow dots? That means I've uploaded my discoveries, boy. <laughs> <laughs> all uploaded, and I always do it off camera, don't worry. You all, you all like to worry about me, and I appreciate you caring, but I always do that. Don't worry about it, you don't need to remind me every time. <laughs> uh, but that's not the reason we're here right at this particular second. Uh, I've just seen these. I have no idea what these are. Uh, I'm going to get a picture of them, uh, because I don't think I've ever seen them out here before. They look like the Atlas Stones or something, so I'm going to go pick them up. I'm guessing as soon as I pick them up, it, there's going to be all hell breaking loose. Oh, Gravitino Balls! These are worth bucks! We are going to be filthy ri Oh dear, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, oh, come on, you can't de deploy the hounds! Oh no, where's my ship? Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Uh, 1 minute 12, that's not fun. Oh, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. We're on the run, guys! Oh, what an episode! We're into like... Oh god, oh god, epic space battles, high speed chases, now we're in, now we're in like a... We're on the run from the police. Whew. We can do it, we can do it. It's a getaway. Huh. Come on, run! Why am I not running like a crazy jipperoonie? Please run. Run, you fool! Run! I've got plenty of heredium, so don't mind that big old blue blob there. This is such a cool planet as well. I've had a lot of fun just walking around. Um, I've, I've probably been walking around here for like half an hour. Oh, that's it! They're deactivated! How much are these things actually worth? Jeez Louise, I'm having so much luck today. <gasps> oh, almost 10 grand each. Yes! That was awesome. I'm having a lot of luck in this episode, which is very good, because it is a special occasion after all. Uh, but that should do us. We should now be able to fly back to this little mission marker. And I'm hope. Where was it? That's not it. That's not it. Where is it? Hold on. Is that it? That is it, right there. 
We can't be that close. To Oops. I've, I must have gone like in a circle around the planet. Is that really where... Oh. My piloting skills definitely need some work. I seem to be fine when I'm in space, but I haven't really got the hang of the whole uh, planetary... <laughs> planetary flight just yet. Woo! I have far too much fun doing that. <laughs> Man, look at this place. These snow planets, guys, are just absolutely phenomenal. I really, like, I think these might be my new favourite type. Although, saying that, our new homeworld is absolutely fantastic. And we're going to have a quick look at that in this episode, too. Don't worry. Right, I'll go and do this, and then we'll be back. Oh, okay, we're there. We might as well carry on. What can you do? Um, hopefully, I'm really hoping this leads me to a portal. Uh, if it's just being a tease, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> it mentioned the word portal, and I was like, could it be? What a place. What a beautiful place. Where's the door? Oh, sentinels are around. They know what I did. <laughs> they, they know who I am. They know what I've done. My crimes will forever be held against me on this planet. Uh, let's save and char. Oh, how did I miss that when I was here before? What a dimwit. Ooh. Excuse me. Have we got any dangerous predators around here? No, I've killed them all. Ha, ha, ha. Right, here we go. So we need to ready to fix this up. And then I'm hoping this is going to point us to a portal, maybe? Or a monolith that will take us to a portal or something along those lines. Okay, you're all fixed. Now give me... Are you not fixed? Oh, there we go. Everything's fixed. Now give me your secrets, little machine. What? Oh, there we go. Everything's repaired. Oh, here we go. Zzzt, zzzt. The terminal's data is useless. The Corvax within left this world many days ago, apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species, Flotilla. Something has them worried. Probe the locks, yeah, give me, give me your secrets, fool. The place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax who lived within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. Examine the video feeds. What is this? One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. Shine a light upon it. Yeah, damn right I'm going to. I shine a light upon it. Is it going to jump up and kill me? It's a small hairy creature, shaking and afraid. Oh, it's a little chipper. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for some time. There is a nest in the corner. Vestiges of food upon a small dish. Even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to them. They left it behind. My scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what intervention occurs. Feed the animal or euthanize it. I'm going to feed it. I feed the creature. Nervously, it takes the zinc and begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs up much of its little meal, only to try to continue the process, shivering with every... Oh, this is horrible. I move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to... Oh no, I should have, I should have euthanized it. Oh, poor little jipper. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to hurt you. So what? Oh gosh, elite sentinel combat unit has been deployed to kill me, huh? This how you want to play it? This how you want to play it, game? I'm ready for him. I'm ready for him. Oh, can we escape? Oh, the dogs are out. The dogs are. Uh, can we? No, I'm not even gonna try and kill them. I feel if I had my plasma grenade launcher, maybe I'd give it a go. But right now, no, sir. All right, I'm gonna head off to another planet, and we'll be back to explore that soon. Okay, we're back. So I got a communication that led me to a monolith, which led me to another monolith, which led me to a monolith that's leading me here. So I think this could be where we find our first ever portal. Fingers crossed, guys. Please. Pull oh. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> yes! We found it! We found the first portal, guys! And it's in the 100 episode special. This is absolutely awesome. Yes! Oh, the first portal of the series. This is fantastic. Look at it. Look at this damn thing. This is awesome. I've totally got to run through the hole. Woo! Coming through. Don't mind me. Can I even get through there? Oh, I totally can. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. What a great day. Right, I'm going to take a picture. We've got to take a picture of the portal. Of course. We have to do that. Be crazy not to. Oh, man. I didn't realize how freaking huge they were. This is awesome. Okay, let's go. What, what is this? Hello? Oh, it has a name. Um gum. Uh, um gum. <laughs> um gum. Give me gum gum. Uh, um gum's restless sleep. Traveler anomaly confirmed. Breach. 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 
Wow. I approach the portal. I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. I am making a choice. A leap of faith that somewhere out there in the dark, I will find who I am meant to be. Input glyphs. I step forward not knowing what I will find on the other side, but I feel it deep in my heart. The call towards a deeper truth. This will be the start of everything. It's only just begun. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks awesome. <laughs> oh, how cool does this thing look? <laughs> yes. I'm doing it. Should we? I, I feel like we should. We should take this nice and slow. Savor the moment. I feel really ominous walking towards it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Woo! Ooh, okay, it's like going for a warp gate but different colours. What what where the hell are we going? What's gonna happen here? Oh, I'm so happy that this happened to happen on our 100 episode special. This is such a cool moment. I'm so mesmerized by this light right now. I'm used to it being the yellow colour from the warp gate, but this pink colour looks super cool. Ooh, oh, where? Are we? I don't know what's going to happen. Like where? Where the heck are we going to end up? Oh! What the heck is this? What the heck is this? Jimmy Cripes, what is this? Oh, oh no. Oh, I thought someone was coming to attack me. What the freak are these? Is this one of the is this is this uh is this an exotic planet? Is that what this is? Wait, uh wait Oh, it doesn't even tell me where I am right now. I'm not even on the Oh my gosh, what's happened? Where are we? We're not there. We're not anywhere, we're not showing up. Oh gosh. Whoa, guys, this is perfect. We've, I, I think, I guess this is an exotic planet, right? Whoa, this is freaky as hell. 16, 16, 16, Atlas Protocol initiated. 16, 16, 16. What is happening here? Something is very wrong with this place. Are they Gravitino balls? Because I will take them. <gasps> they totally are. Oh, that was a mistake. Sentinels are after me. I don't have a ship. What do I do? Oh! Whoa! No! Whoa! What the heck is going on? What the freak? I, no, I was just on an exotic planet and I didn't get to look around and now I'm back here. Is this teaching me words? Why aren't they teaching me words? What is happening? What the freak is going on? Oh my gosh, I have no idea what is going on. That planet looked freaking awesome. It teleported me out when I touched the Gravitino balls. I wanted to have more of a look, it looked amazing. Was that, I think that's what they call an exotic planet, right? I've been trying so hard not to like spoil anything for myself, so I've not been watching anyone else's videos. <laughs> anything that mentions like exotic planets or like Atlas story or anything like that, I've just been completely avoiding. And I'm so glad I have, because that was crazy. What the freak? We've learned a hundred words. We are hitting every kind of bucket list I am today, guys. A exotic planet. Oh, I wish I'd got a chance to to look around a bit more. Where where am I now? Like, where in the universe have I ended up? <laughs> this is so cool. I'm, I'm like, I don't even know what to think right now. That was crazy. I feel, I, have I been, I don't know if I've been gypped or if this was a good thing or what, like, should I have gone through the portal? Am I in trouble? Is there danger? That was, like, it was freaking out. It was like, breach 16, 16. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Atlas. Hello world. The text blinks before me. It awaits input. Ask who this is or say hello. 
say hello. It said hello world, so I'm going to say hello back. An audio recording player is echoing out across a vast interface. We were once travellers. We once aspired to more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. It awaits a command. Do I want to wipe the system? Or perform a diagnostic? I'm going to wipe it. I'm gonna, am I going to wipe out Atlas? Am I going to destroy it? What's happening here? Warning. System wipe will result in universal death. Yes, let's destroy the world. Traveller. Reality fades. Everything does. My body. My voice. My soul. All of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them. But something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... Scream. Rejoice. Submit. Oh, I'm going to scream. I'm not submitting. I try to scream, but I have no mouth to form. Oh my god. What is happening? What the freak is going on? Okay, we've just warped back. I have no idea what has happened. I don't think... I mean, this is not where we... Whoa! Fly! Huh! I've never seen one of these things before. This is one of those little flying fairy creatures. <laughs> that is awesome! That's the first time I've ever seen one. I've seen pictures of them, but I've never actually seen one in real life. Oh, that is so cool. Look at him with his little butterfly wings on a huge beastie body. That is unreal. Ha! <laughs> oh, there are loads of cool creatures here. I don't know where I am. I don't know what happened. I don't know what planet I'm on. Like, what What the heck was all that about? This is definitely not the planet we were just on before all of this started. Is it? There are so many cool creatures here. Is this the planet we were on? It could be, it could be. Let's have a look at the discoveries. See if we'd already discovered some. Hold on, it doesn't... Where am I? Why is it not showing up where I am? I don't know where I am anymore. Like, I'm not showing up on the map as... On the thing as anywhere. My little marker's not telling me where I am. Oh, gosh. I am very freaked out right now, guys. <laughs> What the heck? Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. What the heck? This looks similar to the planet I was just on, but I don't think it is the planet that I was on. I think this is something new. I, whoa. I, I don't know if I, like, I hope I did all that right. I've got no idea what's going on. What's my quest? What does my quest say at the moment? That was so bizarre. That was awesome. We oh, we saw the exotic planet for like just a second. The portal took me further than I could have ever imagined. I saw the atlas itself. I am now a long way from my ship. And even further from anyone I know. Locate your ship. Okay, that's fine. We just need to find our ship. Is it on the... It's on the map. Okay, whoa. <laughs> that was insane. So we're on like... Are we on like some random... Planet? Like, does this is this even a real planet? What's happening? I don't, I don't know what's real anymore. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna walk back to the ship, so I'll meet you guys there. This planet is absolutely incredible. Look at all of these awesome creatures. It's just completely littered with them. <laughs> Look at this. This is so freaking cool. I don't know how we got here, but I'm so happy that we did. <laughs> like, all of the cool little creatures are here. Like, everything you could think of. <laughs> Man, what a cool place. <laughs> I'm so, like, blown away right now. Like, we've just gone on some crazy adventure. And now we've ended up on this awesome planet with like the best, like, incredible creatures like all over the place. 
Jeez Louise, what a day. Okay, so we've made it back to the ship. It says, I escaped my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the Sentinels. Why did I even step through that gateway? Why did I follow this path to rescue Artemis, to kill Sentinels? Because I can. Because I can. I tell myself that I do all of this because I can. That I do not really care about Artemis or about the Sentinel threat. Perhaps this is true. Perhaps I need no higher purpose. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission emerging from a location on this very planet. You are not kzzt alone. <gasps> did it? Did he reset? The signal appears to be coming from beneath the surface of the world, using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. I must ascend into the deep to find its source. What a roller coaster! <laughs> wow! Coordinates received. Is that on this planet? We need to repair our ship. I don't know how. I don't understand how our ship got damaged. I've got no idea what is going on. I need to make carite sheets. I need to make four of them. Hopefully, I've got enough supplies to do that now. Oh, you jipper snapper! I'm one short. Uh, is that what I need? I need. Okay, I need some more iron. That's fine. There'll be a rock nearby. Maybe. This planet is awesome as well, but I'm kind of like I'm kind of scared. Like I feel like I I don't know where I am. First contact. It's saying first contact again. What is wrong with this place? What is wrong with this strange world? Look at this creature. <laughs> I love the little red spines on them. Uh, can I make another carrot sheet? No, I still need some more iron. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna grab the iron and we'll head over to this other coordinates. All right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, here we go. We're at the strange signal, and it seems to be a grave. Oh my gosh, that's Artemis's grave. I approach the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis, but there is only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask who is there. Ask if they are alright. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu. As if I've been here before, right at this very moment. It's like I've restarted, it's so weird. Ask where they are. They came, gzzt, watched closely, gzzt, machines, murderers, gzzt, against the gzzt. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, its words punctuated by a strange static. The voice falls silent, the projection looks at me. Something is very wrong. I scan the hologram, it bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I've ever received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from this cave. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are Zzz called them, but still beloved? Anomaly, they Zzz, zzz Nada, Zzz Polo, watching us, Zzz Tracking. Zzz Mistake, Zzz Abandoned, but it wasn't through the portal. Zzz, please don't trust. Zzz, zzz. I'm afraid, aren't zzz. comfort or step back? Yeah, comfort. The projection fizzles away to mere static. This echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis, a grave of glitched data in a sunless cave. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I depart for the sunlight. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. Holy hell. This is crazy. <laughs> wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a welcome there, buddy. Uh, where's I'm, I am out of here. Jeez, we need to... We need to leave. Activate the hollow terminus. Is that on this planet as well? It's right there. What is happening, guys? Like, jeez.
Okay, we're at the hollow terminus, which is where it led us, and I just wanted to take a moment to stop and look at how beautiful this thing looks, man. <laughs> it's so damn awesome, and this is a planet where I can actually kind of line up a good shot in some grass and get a picture of it, but I mean, look at this. It's so damn cool. These are definitely like one of my favourite things that have been added to the game. They're just such awesome looking structures. Oh, look at that. <laughs> right, that's enough snipper snappers. Let's go check it out. Let's go straight up to the top. I guess we're going to talk to Apollo. Oh, I am so... I mean, my plan for today was just to explore loads of planets and have a great old time. But this has ended up being so much better than what I had in mind. <laughs> what a roller coaster. Uh, where's the way up? Is it here? Yeah. Alright, let's see if any of this is, like, normal still. See if he remembers me. Warning, network compromised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No signal. There are no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Manual override. The warning messages cease. Some new frequency shimmers into being. Is it going to be Apollo? Break, break, break. Data stream. That is not Apollo. What the heck is happening? No. This looks freaking awesome. You are not alone. It's another traveler, a different traveler with the same message. Tell me, what's the point in living if we know what that life will finish? If we know that life will finish. Ask who they are. Suggest death does not erase life. Suggest we improve the lives of others. Let's suggest that death does not erase life. But it does. All those moments gone. Everything that came before. Meaningless. I know you, traveller. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more after a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? Say you need to know more. Demand to know who they are. Say you would do it. Of course I would do it. Oh dear. <laughs> Gypped him! Uh, like a fool, you rush in, eager to do whatever you are commanded. You remind me of myself, you know. The blood of Artemis is data. The heart, it's glitch. I can help you retrieve them. We require a mind arc. A receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis' frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. The stranger offers me blueprints for something they call the mind arc. A device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. I accept, not knowing who this stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures. But if there is a chance that I can help Artemis, I will take it. Wow. We can... That is crazy. Living glass. Artemis! Huh! Are you... Are you... Are you... Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind arc before I can help them further. Whoa. What a roller coaster. <laughs> okay. Wow. Advanced components require a base scientist. Use the space station to teleport quickly to your base. Whoa! Okay, guys, we're gonna head back to our home planet. Um, actually, I think we're gonna. I'm gonna. I want to explore one or two planets before we do that because I did want to explore some in this episode. Uh, so we're gonna touch down on a planet or two and then we'll finish off back at the home base. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, here we go. We're about to touch down on an unmapped planet in this crazy system that we're in. Uh, attack ships. Oh, I hope they're not. Are they gonna? Are we being attacked in the surface of the planet? Because if we are, yes, I'm totally gonna take him down. And steal his ship. This is what we wanted to do in the episode. Oh wait, but he's not in the planet. Is it maybe if I attack him and then try and lure him into the planet, will that work? Come on, buddy boy. I want your ship. He's a free star as well, so I'm guessing his ship's going to be pretty good if we can actually steal it. I'm going to try and weaken him down a little bit, and then lure him into the planet's surface and take him on there. 
Oh, I don't have any iron. Okay, right, I'm going for the planet surface, see if he'll follow me down. Come on, buddy boy! Come on! Please say he followed me down here. Please say he followed me down here. Come on! Come on! Oh, you're telling me I can't lure him down? Yes! Yes, 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 yes. We've got to be close enough to the planet's surface for him to crash, right? He is almost done. He is almost done. Let's follow him down. Oh, he's trying to spin. He's still trying to give me the spinner Rooney, the little jipper. We can take him. We can take him. I am getting good at wrecking these three star ships, huh? Didn't stand a chance. Okay, right. There's the ship. Oh. Do you think it's going to go down on a planet? I'm going to go down right here. We want to see what kind of planet we're on as well. Uh, let's go down and I'll try the old scan. Oh, 200,000 buckaroos. That's awesome. And my standing with the corpax has increased. So we've got a ship here. I don't know if it's a crash ship or not. No, it's a one star ship though, so we can probably take him. Should we do it? Should we try and take out a ship? I did say I wanted to. Oh, wait. That is a crash ship, right? Oh, maybe that is the ship I just took down. Ha! Huh. Nice! Man, this system is so weird. Every time I touch down, it's like Orono system first first contact, even though it's not first contact. I've been in this system before. What is going on? Uh, 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 the pilot lies dead beside a shrine. <laughs> That's what you get for messing with me, boy! Uh, the pilot lies dead beside a shrine. Wow, I can't even speak. <laughs> beside a short circuiting control panel that sparks intermittently. Beside the dead robotic navigator hovers a sentinel that nudges the deceased life form. Almost as if to wake it. Oh, he had a little pet sentinel. As I approach, the floating machine fires a warning shot in my direction. Enter peacefully and search the con. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for the peaceful approach. Oh, damn. That didn't work. Oh, I did learn something. Okay, cool. Right, let's check out this ship. See if it's better. It's got to be better than our ship, right? What have we got? Give me a good one. 23 slots. That's not bad at all, you know. Uh, and it's got how many broken? One... To, it's got quite a lot of broken slots. Do we want to change for that? It's really ugly though, isn't it? That's the only thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to trade my way up because once if I get this... Um, oh, wait. Don't I need to... Actually, no. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm going to hold out for a better one. I'm not ready to change just yet. Let's have a look what we got on this planet. It looks really cool. These are... Uh, the plants. Let's see if we've got any animals here. We've got typical fauna and bountiful flora. Fantastic! So we can explore this one a little bit and then we'll finish off at home before we end the episode. Uh, let me let me see what you got here. Oh, don't have iron. Well, there's some right here, conveniently enough. I can hear creatures. Where are they? <gasps> oh, these look cool. Oh, there are a lot of creatures here. Man, we have such good luck. Okay, we're going to go check out the creature in a second. I need to <laughs> I need to pay attention to one thing at a time. Give me my iron, boy. That should be enough. That's all we need. Just enough to open this. That's all I want. Thank you very much. Nanite crunchers, here we come. Delicious. And I'll take a this. Thank you. Man, this has been... like I would not have guessed this was how this episode was going to go. This has been a complete roller coaster. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm amazed right now. The story in this game is actually really awesome so far. Like, it's completely... Oh, hellhounds! It's a little tiny hellhound! Oh, this is adorable! Oh, these are like my favorite creature in the entire game. Oh, look at him! They're so damn awesome! Like, if I could choose any creature in this game to be my pet, this would definitely be it. The little hellhounds. They're so damn cool. And these, what are these? These are weird looking rocks. Hmm. Let's scan some flora. Okay, right, we gotta go check out what kind of crazy creatures we got on this little jipper island. Hello, buddy. Oh, I like these. These look really cool with their little graceful necks. Who's next? Who else have we got? Man, these plants look, they look like, uh, they look like tail fins for like fish. That is bizarro. Ooh, platinum. Thank you very much. <gasps> oh, knowledge stone. We'll get... 
Is that a new creature? No, we've discovered you. We've discovered you. <laughs> How many creatures are there to discover? Oh, there's plenty. That's fine. That's good. I just want to make sure there wasn't only like two species. <laughs> you know, that would have been like the ultimate jip. I'm looking around for ages and then it turns out there were only ever two types of animals to find. Give me your words, fool. Man, the, like, the update has been so good to me. Like, I, <laughs> the crazy luck that we've had finding cool stuff, cool planets, cool creatures. It's just been awesome. And I'm so happy that like it's not just the grassy tree planets that look nice now. Like the snow planets are amazing. Um, even like all of these scorch planets and stuff, they have like really cool textures. Textures and like they're interesting to look at now. And I'm really like I'm just enjoying that so much right now. There's got to be some more creatures around here. Where are the little chippers hiding? Is that zinc? I totally need some zinc. Yes, thank you very much. Ugh, that's bizarre. What is this? Where are all the creatures at? Hello? Oh, I hear someone. I hear someone. He's a little one. <gasps> there they are. They're all down there. But they're all green. They're all... Oh, the hell? There's loads of them. Oh, they're so awesome. Man. Oh, they, I wish there was little herds of these guys on my home planet. They're, they're, look at them. They're like, they're like adorable little kittens, but they look cool as hell. <laughs> like they look just mean, but cute at the same time. I don't know how to explain it, but they're just awesome. Definitely my favorite creature in the game that I've seen so far. Although we've still got plenty of Diplos to find. I've only ever seen one Diplo and it wasn't one of the super long neck ones. It was just a, a little stubber, a little stubby one. Come on, little kitty. With his big head. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. What about you? Bit of a chopper. Ooh, this grass is really cool. This looks awesome, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we want the daytime, please. Uh, let's go to default. Thank you very much. There we go. Ugh. I always forget that I can't move when I do that. What a place. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a little look around here. If we see any other cool creatures, I'll come back and show you. But if not, I think we, I think it's only right to end our special 100 episode. Um, special episode, I guess. <laughs> 100 episode special episode. Uh, it's only right to end that back at our brand new home base. And I missed that place and I want to show it off. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, guys, just as I was about to head back to the space station to teleport home, I came across this planet, which was called a flourishing planet, so I figured we'll very quickly just check it out and see what we got. And it's got abundant flora, which is pretty damn awesome, and fauna, I mean. Uh, so we're going to see if there's any super cool creatures here. And I, you guys know, I love this purple grass. The purple grass is like my favourite colour grass in the game. It was the grass that I was on the first ever planet I spawned on. The first time I ever played the game in episode one, all those months back. And it, I don't know, it's just like the nostalgia just makes me feel super happy whenever I see purple grass. Why am I not? Huh? How come I can't get this plutonium? Oh, there we go. Who have we got? Oh, there's little tiny ones in the grass. <laughs> I can't even see what kind of creature they are. They're so small. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, there's a little Triceratops! Whoa, he is fast! Oh, the creatures here are awesome! We've got to get a look at this guy. Look at that, he's like a little tri Triceratops with like weird wing fins on him. That is cool as hell! Ha! <laughs> I'm glad we decided to stop by here. Uh, who's attacking me? Are you serious? Don't you know this is an important episode for me? Oh, he is a, he is a creepy looking dude. Get out of here, fool. Wow, he's tough. Oh, there we go. He's not so tough now. <gasps> he's going to scam me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to check out all the beautiful creatures on this incredible planet. Leave me alone. And what luck we've had today. A purple grassy planet. It's got some trees. Not too many trees. Trees. It's more of one of those grassy plain side planets by the looks of it. But how awesome are these Triceratops things? <laughs> what a beastie. Oh, there's a little baby one. Oh, that's nice. I've got to get a picture of the little baby one. That's adorable. Oh, he's so tiny. With his little horns. I love how they've all got like different horns as well. 
Like these ones, this one's horns go up. Oh well, whereas the other ones went down. Man, what a brilliant day for finding stuff this has been. Any other red dots? Let's have a little. There are loads of red dots over there. So that was from a long, long way away as well that that showed up. So that could be a pretty big creature. Whoa, this one's big too. Is he an armadillo? Man, dude, this is such an awesome planet! What the heck? How am I having so much luck lately? Oh, don't. That, that, just as I said that, I'm about to fall to my death. <laughs> Where, Where's that red dot that was over here? It was just over this hill, right? Hello? <gasps> oh, this thing's freaking huge! What is that in the distance? Oh, look at that weird rock structure. Oh, I wonder if there's any flying creatures. Do we see anything? No, I don't think so. What a beautiful place. <laughs> ah, this is awesome. Just gonna have a nice little walk through the grass with all these beautiful creatures. Let the music wash over me and just have a nice little, nice little wander. What a place. <laughs> Man, I love this game. <laughs> well, we were going to head back home, but I think I want to stay on this planet for a little bit longer. But I think that's going to have to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed that one. I tried to do a load of fun stuff. I tried to do a load of stuff that you guys have been wanting me to do in the comments as well. So, I hope you've appreciated that. Well done us for making it to 100 episodes and thank all of you guys that have followed along for the adventure. Here's to the next 100. Take care of yourselves guys and peace.